There's no time for a funny intro. Battle Styles is here. Guys, Battle Styles is here! Welcome back, everyone, to more from the Sable Eyes. I'm Mitch, and we're here for a very special late episode, I suppose, of on the channel. We've, we've got it's Battle Styles time. There's no, there's no time to talk about it. Let's just jump straight into the list. That is right. We are looking at Single Strike Urshifu for one. I mean, look at all these different random cards. This is what it looks like on day one, guys. By the way, I do not have matching arts yet. I just wanted to get this out as quickly as possible. Single Strike Urshifu V Max is incredibly powerful. Uh, G Max One Blow deals 270 damage for four energy, which is very expensive, but it's a good number to hit. We have to discard all of our energy, which is unfortunate, and the attack isn't affected by effects on your opponent's Pokémon. That's affect and then effect, which is pretty impressive. The thing that makes this really, really good is the brand new single strike energy, which means that we deal 20 more damage with every single strike energy that we attack. So that means that if we have four single strike energies on our VMAX, that means we're going to be doing 80 more damage on top of the 270 we're already doing. 350 knocks out everything in the format, even an Eternatus with a weak guard energy, which is really, really cool. Now the question is, how do we get the second attack off? Because obviously, like, when, once we've attacked once, we have to discard all of our energy. It's four, that's quite a lot. We can use the Single Strike Raw Houndoom, which allows us to accelerate Single Strike energy from the deck into our, uh, into our field of play, onto our Single Strike Pokémon. And uh, we're also going to be able to put our Single Strike energy back in the deck with Urn of Vitality. It's all, it all works together, right? It's all really, really strong. Also, keep in mind that the second attack, Impact Blow, on Single Strike Urshifu V is incredibly strong, just for three energy. It does, obviously, uh, take knockouts on Eternatus V Maxes, which is super, super strong. And we also have two copies of the Scroll of Scorn, which is a very interesting new card. It essentially gives any uh, Single Strike Pokémon this card's attached to Outrage, which makes any attacker very, very potent, especially if you have multiple Houndooms in play. Finally, Tyranitar V, a good option if you're playing up against Psychic-type decks, because you can obviously hit into them for weakness. Things like Dragapult can be knocked out by a Single Strike Crush, which is really, really strong. Also, Kragalanch and Single Strike Crush both have the effect of discarding your opponent's cards, so in the late game, it could be a good way to stop your opponent from being able to draw into the things that they need. Very, very cool deck. If you want it, it's down in the description. Whilst you're there, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Come on, guys, it's, it's Battle Stars. You want to see more Battle Stars videos? They'll, they'll be down there. Well, I mean, they won't be down there. They'll be coming up soon. Let's play some games. Alrighty, we have a, a decent start here. We started with our uh, Urshifu, which is good, and we're playing against Eternatus. Alright, let's um, let's shuffle away a Houndoom here, grab ourselves a Houndour, because we need those to get our engine started, and uh, let's attach a Single Strike Energy and just pass. That seems fine. This matchup is obviously one that we'd think we'd be able to win really easily, but there's a couple of things that Eternatus can do. They have Crushing Hammer to get rid of energy early, which can be very frustrating. Please don't flip heads whilst I'm... Oh my goodness, I'm just trying to describe how it works! Okay. That's fine. It's fine. Crushing Hammer, which can disrupt us early, and they also could potentially be running Weakness Guard energy. So it is worth keeping an eye out for that. Weakness Guard energy makes Eternatus actually quite difficult. Because the thing with this deck is that you want to one-shot things, and when you don't one-shot a Pokémon, it makes it very, very awkward. So, uh, definitely, definitely an interesting... Interesting matchup. It's not as not as clear cut as you would think it should be, if if you know what I mean. Does that make sense? Does what I'm saying make sense? I'm not I'm not entirely sure. It's okay. Uh, anyway, in this matchup, we're probably just going to focus on our single. Oh my goodness! Oh, oh I can't even speak. We're going to probably focus on our single strike attack as if we can. Uh, impact blow is probably going to be enough to take knockouts on these Eternatuses. Plus, they're easier to set up. We don't need to discard energy. All that kind of stuff is very very good. <clears throat> we don't really need the VMAX in this matchup, but it might be worth putting out just for a, for a turn or two. We'll wait and see. We will wait and see. Marnie. Okay, well there goes our incredibly good hand. Thank you very much. Um, and now this game becomes incredibly difficult, even if they don't have the weakness guard energy. Yikers. Alright. Well, they're going to power accelerator. If they don't attach an energy, I might have a chance. I might have a chance. Oh, I definitely have a chance now. Alright, okay, it's happening guys. We've got everything. Let's put the urn, uh, let's earn the energy back in. 
then we can play down the Tyranitar, we can play down the Single Strike guy, we can use Single Strike Roar, attach an energy to the active. Now we're going to deal 20 damage because of the effect. That's 70 plus the energy. Um, oh my goodness, what are we doing here? Plus the energy is 90, plus another one is 110. Uh, now if I research into a scroll, I think I'm going to be able to knock this Eternatus out. Got the scroll. Okay, this is where the this is where the scroll of scorn comes in, right? It's super super strong. Let's come away this Elder Goss as well. Grab ourselves another Hound Doer. I feel like that's a really really good card to have. We keep the Quick Ball if they knock us out. That's fine. Fury, furious, fury anger, whatever you want to call it. That's a really really good attack. Taking a knockout on an Eternatus for a single energy. Is that a thumbnail? Probably not a thumbnail. What should the what should the title of this video be? Hmm, I don't know. We'll have to we'll have to think of something. We're in a really good spot now. Okay, we've gone from being really, really uh, in a really awkward spot to a really decent one. Um, flipping tails on the crushing hammer at this point doesn't really matter because uh, we've got what we need. That power plant's frustrating because it means that now we can't detonate out of this if our opponent does uh, cause us some problems. They flip heads on that. Which is disappointing. If they attack into us though, we can just knock them straight out anyway and start powering up a benched Urshifu. Um, they're just going to put 10 onto the active, that's fine by me. I think we're just going to be able to cruise through here because uh, the, the scroll's base damage is 10, right? So it does 10 plus the amount of damage counters that are on you plus the energy modifier. So we're doing 10 base plus 80 is 90 plus 20 for the energy that we have attached, which is 110, and then weakness on the Eternatus is 220. Now they've retreated, so they're not attacking. We can actually set up our second Urshifu down on the bench here. We can single strike raw, there's one more energy left, so let's attach that to the Urshifu on the bench. Then we can boss out the Eternatus, and we can use that scroll, Fury Anger, Fury Anger, Fury Anger, I should just read it next time, and uh, take a couple of prizes, and that Tower of Darkness is probably the best prize we could have taken, because it means if they do get a knockout somehow, we will be able to at least draw cards with the Dene, which is super good. Super, super good. Um, I don't see it happening, though. I don't see them actually knocking me out here, frankly. Crushing Hammer? Nope. And research. Alright, so I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty comfortable. They have no Eternatus, they have no attacker. Um, all we really need is a, is a Gus. Well played from Leo Robert. Well played to you, sir. Thank you very much for coming along. We get a win against the Eternatus with a single strike or Shifu, and tell you what, it was uh it was it was to be expected. Let's see if we can get a game with the VMAX though. Well I said I wanted a game with the VMAX, and that's what I've uh, started with in my hand, but I'm um, Unfortunately, we've got the Tyranitar in the active. I probably could have put the Houndoom down, but look at this guy. Look at how good he looks, right? Such a good-looking card. Okay, anyway, let's let's focus up. This is actually a pretty strong hand now. Um, that second Houndoom makes this incredibly good. Let's come away the V Max to grab ourselves a V. Um, I think we grab. We haven't seen the we haven't seen the full art yet. We'll put the full art down. That looks pretty good. Uh, then we can quick ball away the Com. We can grab ourselves. I think just another V. That seems fine. And then we can de Dene. Um, this means that we leave ourselves with no bench space for Crobat or anything else, but that's fine. Um, this is actually this is actually perfect, because what I can do is I can switch into the Urshifu here. We were going second, so you're going to see laser focus here from Urshifu V. This is a really, really good way to power up your attacker, and it's the reason that we have two basic fighting energy in the deck. We can laser focus if we go second and attach two energy to our Urshifu. Now we happen to be playing up against Colossal, which means that we're not going to get punished for having done that. Right? They're not going to be able to one-shot us this turn, so we have a three energy Urshifu, absolutely free, no stress at all, which I like. I'm, big, I'm a big fan. Big, big fan of that. Um, I could have researched last turn, but I elected not to because I didn't want to draw into those energies, right? I want to leave as many energies in the deck as possible, so that if there are two in there, I can laser focus into them. The worst thing that could have happened there is if I had have researched, then I would have drawn into those energies, and it would have been really, really bad. And look at that, we just happened to top deck the single strike energy. We could very easily get ourselves close to a knockout here. Um, let's just uh, let's just thin out a little bit, then we can research. It sucks that we have to get rid of an urn, but that is okay. We're looking for the VMAX if we can find it. We do. That's beautiful. We've got the Hound Doom as well. Um, let's play down the Tower of Darkness, evolve into the VMAX. Um, I can probably even 
I can even use the tower now. And uh, we've found ourselves another single strike energy. Now let's, let's have a think here. 270, 290, 310. Uh, if I attach one more, it'll be 330. But they've got the energy on there, so we will reduce it by 20. So we might as well just put it onto the bench, uh, and then we can attack. So this will do, what, 290, because it'll be minus 290, I think. 310. 310. Is the, is the energy in effect? Could I have just taken a knockout on that Colossal? I'm 99% sure that I could have and should have knocked that Colossal out that turn. It's not, it's not affected by effects on your opponent's active Pokemon and the energy must be in effect. Well, there you go. Strong energy is an effect of... Unless that's a PTCGO glitch, which it could be. Well, this match just got a lot more difficult. <laughs> um, so our VMAX should have knocked that Colossal out, by all accounts. Um, I have no idea. This is fine. That means we can knock this Colossal out with uh, Houndour next turn if we want to. I don't really want to. I want to power up a VMAX if I can. Um, but hey, yeah. Alright, so... Uh, um... <laughs> We we learn we learn some things. This is fine. This is not a this is not a problem. I'm not worried. Let's uh, promote the Vmax, and then we'll be good to go. There's the second Vmax. Unfortunately, we're not going to be able to get that in play. Let's put some energy back with Single Strike Urn of Vitality, and then we can Single Strike Raw. We can get an energy active. Um, we're gonna try and Marnie into either a Houndoom or a Scroll here. If we find the Houndoom. Then we're guaranteed, which is fantastic. We do find it. It means we can use Beatdown, which will be dealing 160 damage to our opponent's active um, because of the three single strike energy, which is incredibly strong. So let's go into it here. We probably don't need the extra Houndoom. Houndoom, sorry. Let's just attack 140 because of the, because of the energy. Right? That one counts. And then we just grab ourselves three prizes. Looks pretty good to me. Now, our unfortunate situation is that we don't have any more single strike energy left in the deck, nor do we have a, another basic V. Uh, we could potentially use the Tyranitar, but we obviously do need the one or two dark energy, which is provided by the single strike, right? So we could theoretically attack with a uh, Tyranitar, but to be honest, I think we're more likely to win this game if we attack with the basic V. We will wait and see. The urns are the critical piece at the moment. If we if we can find an urn, that would be fantastic. Our big problem is going to be yeah this beatdown. Uh, we're going to be able to take a knockout. Can they knock us out next turn? They can do 130. They can do that. They can get the Tyranitar into the active. That's frustrating. It's not that big of a deal though. We've got Switch, so we can always just switch into the VMAX and attack. I don't actually know if they can knock us out next turn. <clears throat> yeah, I'm not entirely sure. Let's attach a Capture Energy anyway. We can. There are no more basics in the deck. Okay, so these are the ones we're attacking with. Let's go for the Tower of Darkness to get rid of that swell. We'll switch into our VMAX and then... I think it's probably right to just research here. I mean, we lose a lot of energy, but to be honest, I just want to see more cards, frankly. Um, let's just beat down here, I think. I think that's all we really need to do. Just take a knockout. I don't think that we're under any pressure. As long as we find another energy next turn, which we're super likely to do, then we should be able to win this game with a G-Max blow. A G-Max one blow. A G one, one blow? Kind of sounds like a Microsoft thing. Anyway. Just ignore me, guys. I'm just having a having a quiet little moment. It's uh, it's been a very long it's been a very long morning for me. I tried to get this video out at 10 a.m. my time, but it took a little bit longer than that. So um, when it comes out, it comes out, and then oh, hey, listen, I'll finish this story later. Let's play one more game. It's a new set. It's new games. Let's let's do one more. Alrighty, one more to go, and that is very frightening. There's a Mewtwo in the active. I don't like that at all. I'm concerned. Let's quick ball, get rid of the Marnie, and grab ourselves our V. We want to attach an energy to that, but we don't want it to be in the active. I'm just going to leave it on the bench, and uh, we'll attach the scroll and pass. That seems fine. Mewtwo is terrifying. Frankly, 
we need to make sure that we can... The only time we can attack this Mewtwo is when we knock it out, right? That is the key. Because uh, if we go into our VMAX, when we're not knocking this Mewtwo out, it will just be able to outrage us in return because of that Reshizard, which they just put in the discard pile then. So, this is a bit of a concern. And this is the reason that Welder Mewtwo could be making a comeback very, very shortly because there are now so many Psychic Weak Pokemon in the format. Both of the VMAXs, uh, both of the Earth Shifu VMAXs from this set are obviously weak to Psychic. And that means that Mewtwo is an incredibly strong Pokemon. So we want to knock that out straight away. Let's grab another Houndoo here. Play that down. We can attach an energy to the benched Urshifu, then a research. Our opponent's hand is pretty small, so I'm feeling decent. Um, and this extra Houndoer, Houndoer means that we're looking pretty good. Um, I'm just going to... I think we evolve, and then I'm just going to pass. Obviously, nothing else we can really do. Next turn, if we find one Houndoer, we take a knockout. Uh, one Houndoom, sorry. We'll take a knockout on that Mewtwo, as long as we can get out of the active. So if they choose to knock me out here then I'll be able to knock their Mewtwo out next turn. If they gust, the game is probably over, to be honest. Like, it's it's gonna be it's gonna be tough to come back, because we've had a really slow start. So, it, it is what it is. Um, what do we need? So we've got the Capture Energy in hand, we can play that. They're just Star Searching. Alrighty, so we've got ourselves a chance to win here. They're not happy to take the knockout, because they don't want the VMAX coming into the active. We found a Houndoom, which is really, really good. We can play that down. I think we play the... I think we single strike raw, get the energy on there. Then we can play down the capture energy. All right, That's our four energy that we need to take the knockout. I'm going to grab another Urshifu v, um, Urshifu v, put it on the bench. Now, I think, rather than Marnieing them, because they've not been doing too much, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to Elder Goss for research. We draw more cards this way. Uh, it just does mean that we are risking not being able to use Dedenne. Um, no switch, but we do have another Houndoom, and Houndoom is a single strike Pokemon. So, let's single strike Raw, we'll put the single strike energy on the active, then we can retreat, because uh, Houndoom has a one retreat cost, we can retreat into the V and uh, the VMAX, and then use VMAX 1 blow, 330 damage, take the knockout on the Mewtwo there, three prizes, and we leave our opponent with not a lot to do here. Because um, they've only got the Indeedy with one energy on it, which won't be dealing too much damage because we don't have any energy on us. Or this Marshadow. So we're looking pretty, we're looking pretty safe here, um, as as safe as we realistically can, anyway. Um, now we've got the pot in our hand as well, so we've got the uh, the look at that. They've got nothing over there. We're we're in such a good spot. Let's use the urn. Chuck a couple of those single strike energies back in. Now we can take a knockout here with uh, the with the scroll, I believe. Let me just uh, quickly single strike raw. We'll get one single strike energy onto the active. That'll put us on 40 plus 10 is 50. Um, actually, will we be able to? No single strike again. It's going to go to 60. 60 plus 10. Oh no, because of the. Tw okay, this is fine. Sorry, my apologies. I'm. I'm just. I'm, my maths is all off. 60 plus 10 is 70 plus 40 is 110. Minus 20 because of the resistance means we're all good to go. And we've got plenty of other stuff happening here as well. We've got another Houndoom, which means we can get another single strike energy because we got another urn. It is all working nicely. We have ourselves a knockout on the Marshadow and we have the potential knockout on the V next turn. If they don't knock us out with Indeedy here, both of our V Maxes have got two energy on them. We should be able to get the win here, but just watch, in saying that, just watch this crushing hammer flip heads and me never find any energy ever again. No, didn't happen, no worries. There's just the psychic. We end up winning this one quite comfortably. Because uh, what we can do is we can just, uh, let's let's just single strike raw. We've got one energy in the deck. We can just put that on there. Oh no! <laughs> oh no! I forgot about the damage! Um, okay, this game suddenly got a little bit more difficult. <laughs> oh no! Heartbreak emote. Now I don't have any single strike energy left in the deck. Oh my god! There's none left! Okay, so we're going to attach, we need to find an urn now, um, let's grab the, I don't know, let's just grab Tyranitar, um, I'm going to, I think I'm going to combat the Dedenne, 
because I need to give myself the best chance to find more cards. Let's use research. We've got 15 cards left. There's one urn left. There's the urn. It was all fine. Don't worry about it. I don't know what you were all worried about. Single strong reward <laughs> puts the energy onto the active. And then we can G Max one blow. Well, <laughs> that was very close to embarrassing, wasn't it? <laughs> so there you go. Not a particularly strong performance from me personally, but the deck worked relatively well. Thank you very much for watching this late video. We'll return to regularly scheduled program, regularly scheduled programs. Later, um, we're going to be doing kind of like a, a nice little... Here's, here's the thing. You guys are the ones that are watching at the end, right? You're, you're the real fans. Thank you very much, by the way, for being a real fan. I appreciate that. We're going to be doing a one-on-one-off -on -one -off kind of thing where one day we do a really strong kind of meta deck and then the next day we're going to do some more fun stuff. So stick around for tomorrow's video, which I think is going to be a fun one. We'll see how it goes. Thank you as well to everyone who has decided to support the channel as a member. If you want to, join down below. There's a button there. You can just click that. It's perfectly fine. Thanks to the dad bod, Azazel, Fernando, Yolo, Diego, Steven, and Agent Abel for your continued support, as well as Victor, Connor, Dario, Tom Cove, Sparksy, Kabakazi, Josiah, Austin, Stephanie, Chalbungus, and Sam. Thank you very much for your support. Appreciate it greatly, and I'll see you all next time for more from the Sable Eyes.